Once regions have been defined on a survey spectrum, the annotation property page provides a method for creating a table which is displayed over the data. And the data for this table are gathered from the quantification regions on the survey spectrum. In the case of a narrow scan, where we have a set of peaks that we would like to see the relationship between these peaks in terms of percent area, the components property page allows you to see a similar sort of table. This time, using the components property page, we gather information from the spectrum displayed in the active tile and it displays the components as a percent area. If on the other hand we would like to see the relationship between the oxygen, which currently displayed as a components table, is giving you the percent area. If we'd actually like to see the relationship between the carbon and the oxygen, then what we have to do is create a further table of type quantification and we'll select the components option and press apply and you can see now I've got more than one table defined on here so I'm going to move one of them out of the way and I'll move the other one out of the way so now you can see that there are three tables involved we have two sets of spectra and three tables so the first table is coming from the oxygen the second table is coming from the carbon only and the third table, this is the quantification one, is coming from the VAMAS blocks that are selected in the right hand side. So if I deselect this oxygen 1S we can now see just the carbon so we're getting the same results that you see here. If on the other hand I select the oxygen and deselect the carbon you can see now you've got just the oxygen results and putting them together again you get a quantification table that shows you the relationship in terms of atomic concentration based on the components in these two spectra.